Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matok Lasan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform t-test independent using MS Excel. The independent samples t-test or also known as t-test independent is an inferential statistical test that determines whether there is a statistically significant difference between two means in two unrelated groups. To run the t-test independent analysis, we need to prepare one independent categorical variable that has two levels or groups. So in this case, the first group is the set of NBA players and the second group is the set of PBA players. So what if I'm trying to compare the average height of PBA and NBA players? So in this case, the dependent variable is the height, which is an example of a continuous variable. So here in t-test, we need a continuous variable to compare. So let mu sub 1 be the average height of NBA players and mu sub 2 be the average height of PBA players. So in t-test independent, we are trying to compare these two means and we can do that by getting a sample of nba players and a sample of pba players so what's actually happening is we are comparing the sample means using the t distribution and here are the assumptions that we need before performing t-test independent are your samples randomly selected are your samples independent of one another and if your sample sizes are less than 30, you have to make sure that your chosen variable is coming from a normally distributed data. And in our previous example, height is a normally distributed variable. In this example, a researcher is planning to compare the effectiveness of having test preparation course before taking math exams. So we need to determine which group has the highest mean scores in math and test its significance at 0 0.05 level. Remember that in a t-test independent, we are always comparing the means of the two groups. So the two groups in this example are the students who completed the test preparation course before taking the exam and those students who did not take the test preparation course. So for us to compare the effectiveness of the two groups, the null hypothesis should be stated as there is no significant difference between the math mean scores of the two groups, while the alternative will say there is a significant difference between the math mean scores of the two groups. To perform the t-test independent in Microsoft Excel, you need to make sure that data analysis is installed in your Microsoft Excel. If not, you can watch my video tutorial regarding the installation of the data analysis function in Microsoft Excel. Now, choosing this function will give us this different um, examples of statistical analysis. And in this part, we'll be needing the t-test to sample assuming unequal variances. We did not run any Levine's test or a variance test. That is why we are choosing this function. But if you happen to test the variance between the two groups, you can use this t-test to sample assuming equal variances. But sometimes or rather in real life, I could say that the variances are not always equal. So we use this test in this case. So pressing OK will give us the options of choosing our variable range. For a variable one range, we need to choose our first group. Those students who completed the test preparation class or course. The second group are those students who did not take or participated in the test preparation course. Now, the hypothesized mean difference here is zero. And uh, the levels or the labels rather will be selected because I included the labels in the column. Now, our level of significance is 0 0.05, so we'll be using this. Now, I want my output to be placed here in this sheet, so I will select output range. And in this part, I'm going to select this cells below pressing okay okay in this summary table we could see that the mean of those students who took the test preparation course is 68.35 while those students who did not has a mean of 63.81 
And for us to determine the significance of this difference, we need to use the critical value or the p-value method. In the alternative hypothesis, it is obvious that we have a two-tailed test because we're just trying to see whether they are equal or not. So here, using the critical value method, we're going to compare the test value and the critical value for two-tailed here on the last row. So we can see here that if the critical value is 2, say here, positive 2, 1.56 test value is in the non-critical region because it's less than the critical value of 2. So therefore, do not reject the null hypothesis. Now, how about if we use the p-value method? All we need to do is to select this row because this tells us that the p-value for a two-tailed test in this test is 0 0.12. And it is obvious that 0 0.12 is greater than our alpha level, which is 0 0.05. So therefore, do not reject the null hypothesis. So we have the same result in the p-value method and in the critical value method. For reporting the output of your independent t-test, you can prepare a table containing all this information. So we have here in the first column the two groups that we have, the sample for each group, the mean of each group, and the standard deviation for each group. If you are looking for the test value 1.56, we got it from our summary table in Excel in this Part. Now, for the type of test, we are using the two-tailed test, so I included the degrees of freedom, which is 68. You can also see it here, here, and the alpha level, which is 0 0.05, and that is what we use in the function a while ago. So the critical value is 2 because we use the two-tailed test, and the p-value is 0 0.12, and we got it here using the two-tailed p-value. From the table, we can see that the 31 students who completed the test preparation has a greater mean compared to the 69 students who did not take the test preparation course. However, this difference, as we know, is not significant or I mean not significant because the null hypothesis is not rejected. So here in this setup, you can see that 68 is the degrees of freedom and 1.56 is our test value. Now, since 0 0.12 is greater than 0 0.05, we rejected the null hypothesis. So in other words, the test preparation course has no significant effect on the mean scores of students despite the higher mean of those who took it. Let's have another example. A researcher is planning to compare the math test scores of male and female students in a school. So we need to determine the highest mean scores for these two groups and we need to test its significance at 0.05 level. So our null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the math mean scores of the two groups. Let's see if that's correct. So by going to uh, data ribbon, data analysis, and choosing... Uh, t-test to sample assuming unequal variances then we need to select our first group which is this one the female group and the other one is the male group okay so our hypothesized mean difference is always zero the labels was in, were included. We have alpha level 0 0.05. And for the output, I'm going to select a new place here. Okay, about here. Then pressing OK, we'll have this summary table. In the summary table, we can see here that the test value is a negative. So we need to use the negative value for the two-tailed test. Um, well, you, I did just included the negative 1.98 here because I can't use the positive 1 because this is a negative value. And if we all know that if we have a two-tailed test, there are two possible critical values, the positive test value and the negative test value. So since negative 2.45 is on the left side of negative 1.98, the test value is on the critical region. So the decision here is to reject the null hypothesis. Now, by comparing the p-value and the 
alpha level which is 0.05 we all know that 0.02 is less than 0.05 so our decision in this case is also to reject the null hypothesis so we have the same decision for the critical value method and for the p-value method so from our summary table in microsoft excel we have this report for our independent t-test in the example we can see here that 52 male students has a higher mean score of 68.54 and this difference is significant because the null hypothesis was rejected rejected so in other words male students perform better in math test and that's all for this video. If you want more video discussion about hypothesis testing and how to perform them in Microsoft Excel, please check my playlists in the description down below. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.